Assalamu alaikum friends. Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Since I've already shared a few of my kitchen organization videos or my fridge cleaning or how I clean my pots and pan videos with all of you guys, I thought it's time for a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and share a few quick tips on kitchen organization or how I organize my kitchen to make life a little easier. So I'm going to share that with all of you guys and I hope that you guys will enjoy it. I'm going to start off by this dining table. This is a new dining table that I purchased and you know with my kids and everything it tends to just go you know they'll ruin it in just days so I purchased these pretty little placemats and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cover the top with plastic now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out my placemats just the way uh, that I want them to lay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some plastic <clears throat> that I've purchased from Walmart and you can buy it off of the roll or you can just buy it pre-cut into um, small little they're made like little packages like this. So it's like a piece, if you want a bigger piece, they have them in all different sizes. So this is the piece that I had, or that I bought actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and put that on top of the table. I'm gonna fix the placemats. I'm gonna measure it, I'm gonna cut it with the scissor, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and tape that right onto my table. Now this will last me about a month or so. After that, I'm gonna have to change it. I mean, and for a few dollars buying that plastic and having your table covered and changing it like after a month or so I think it's worth it with kids because in no time that table will be all scratched up and for something that you've paid so much for you want it at least to last with your kids and so what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting some off like this and now since I have some on each side I'm gonna go ahead and get this tape and I'm just going to go ahead and flap it over on which side looks best and then I'm going to go ahead and tape it on and I'm going to use a good amount of tape to make sure that it's taped onto the wooden table. And you can use any kind of placemats on the bottom. It makes it look really nice. The appearance is nice. And it will last a good time. Your furniture will last much more longer, especially if you have boys in the house. <laughs> so guys, um, this is one of the tips. And you can make it look nice with a nice arrangement in the middle. This is like just one thing I thought I'd share with you guys. And these are the things that I applied to my new home when I got it. So... It's all done, looks pretty, and will last you a much more longer time. Now, second of all, what I'm gonna do is I just purchased these um, little containers. They weren't expensive at all. I have so many of these with so many different, different things in the house, um, and the more, the better. You could never get enough of these containers. So I just purchased these, just had random things laying in my cupboard, so we'll go ahead and put them in here. They're, they'll last longer. You can see through them if you ever have guests or if you need them, like they come in real handy. Your kids could just reach for them, and they can also get them as well if they need them so I just went ahead and put a whole bunch of candy with some cookies in one of them and these are some different different types of um, chocolate covered nuts and stuff I put that in one and here's some trail mix in another and then almonds will go into one of them actually they're walnuts <laughs> so walnuts will go in one of them and that's about it so you can just buy plenty of these put them all in your cupboards have them just laying there and ready for when you need them and guys this is like a regular door drawer that I was going to use for all my spoons and everything but it's actually a junk drawer right now you know when you move into a new house and you had just have so much stuff laying around like my kids toys <laughs> and everything that I could find or my kids it was just going inside this drawer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and organize this I'm gonna go through the, all the stuff that I use and then I'm gonna go through the ones that I don't use like I have some spoons some forks some things that I don't have the other ones to so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of those I mean if it's not a set I'm just not gonna keep them anymore so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of a few things and I just purchased this caddy and a few little storage bins from the dollar store I'm gonna just go ahead and put that in and as you guys can see I went ahead and cut a piece of liner put that in the cupboard as well and now I'm just finding a way 
to have that place so it fits and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and organize with my spoons forks and all the other big utensils for cooking so at first I thought I was gonna put all that just the way it is but then I went ahead and changed my mind after I put in the spoon and forks I went ahead and removed all the big utensils from there and I put them near the stove where I'd be cooking like right there so it'd be easy um, access for me and so I won't crowd that other cupboard up so much see as you guys can see here put those ones in the other one where I'll be ne needing them near the um, the cooktop or the stove and then this one will have my other items that I need and that's about it guys so that's all cleaned up now under the sink is all cleaned up and I've shared a video on this and I'll leave the link down below so don't forget to check it out and now this drawer is all neat and clean giving you a good peace of mind just so simple and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move on to this now this is my drawer that I keep my plates and my um, glasses mugs etc in. so as you guys can see there's random things just laying in there right now even a bag of potato chips huh and this is when I barely just moved in and I just didn't even have time for anything and I just had to just put everything just somewhere to find place in those days so now what I've done is I just removed everything cut out a new liner put that in and now I've gotten this little um, shelf and I think this was from Walmart or I think Ross and this is a lifesaver guys I have this in a lot of my shelves um, in my cabinets you can stack some things on top and you can put the rest on bottom so it gives you more like space in your cupboards so I'm just organizing this and what I've done with the stuff out of this cupboard is I've put it in um, on top of my table, just took most of the things from the bottom out, um, looked through the ones that I needed, looked through the ones that I did not want anymore, just got rid of those, and, and just neatly stack them up the way that you'd like to. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube vid my YouTube channel, please subscribe where I share videos like this and so many, many cooking videos. Um, um, I try to share every week. And if you guys enjoy this video or enjoy, um, would like for me to make more, then please give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll be more than happy to share lots more. Now, as you guys can see, I have a lot, a lot of mugs. And this is just some of them. I mean, the other ones are still laying outside in the garage that I need to bring in here and just get all you know I'll get it all set up in here so like I said I went through random plates and stuff that I thought I didn't need anymore or that didn't like wasn't a set and just thought like you know I could donate those or give those away so I put those to the side and looked through the ones that I did want and then I just went ahead and stacked them up as well Now I tried to like put the ones that matched right on top of each other, then the other ones, and then the ones on top, all neatly organized, just the way that I like it, giving you a great peace of mind, all cleaned, perfectly done, just the way that I want it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video with me as well. If you did guys, like I said, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment on what you guys think or any suggestions or anything else. I'd love to hear them. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for my next video. Allah, Fizz.